Property Forscher and Risky Kid. How are you a few days before Copenhagen? Excited and um, really, really forward well. to go there. Of course, yeah. yeah it's great. Um, I think um, the nerves are catching on. <laughs> okay, you recently uh, went to two Eurovision parties in Amsterdam and in London. How was the experience? It wasn't real. The crowd was amazing. Yeah. It was a I perfect it, it, vibe. It was the best live ever. Yeah. I think it was one of the most energetic shows yeah. the three of us have ever done. So it's your first Eurovision experience and suddenly you see a lot of crazy people shouting and dancing with your song. How does it make you feel? Uh, I can't even describe the crazy, feeling. Yeah. yeah, it's crazy. It's, um, I think uh, we've, we've all been dreaming of this moment since we were kids. Yeah. And uh, it's great to see it come into life. So you dreamed of going to Eurovision at some point, right? Um, I've been a Eurovision fan since I can remember myself. I mean, we've been gathering in my house and uh, watching the show every year. Me too, yeah. <laughs> I really wanted that. It was my dream, my secret dream. What was your first Eurovision that you, uh, that you watched? Uh, I think the one with Antique, I, mean, uh, I think 2001. Yeah, 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 yeah. mine too. Um, the one with... Um Calomira. What was that? <laughs> which, year, which year was that? 2008. 2008, that was the first one I watched. <laughs> which party was better, the Amsterdam gig or the London one? Well, they were both great. They were... They were great. They were, <laughs> they mean, were great. Really. Both. On, um, uh, the thing is that in the London party, in the, Paris, the Café de Paris, I think I'd prefer this live a little bit more. A little bit more because uh, we, we we sang uh, more songs. We sang uh, two medleys that we've done. One with Risky, the Eurovision medley, with all the Eurovision winners. And one uh, pop medley from the 90s. Um, and the crowd, uh, the crowd was crazy. Yeah? Say it? I'm for me, uh, it was it was kind of uh, mixed feelings. Like in Amsterdam, it was more like I've always wanted to go to Amsterdam. It's great here in Amsterdam, and for Nick, it was like London. I've always wanted to go to London. So yeah. we both had the same feeling to, um, e at each times. So in those two parties, it was your first. Um, uh, you got first impressions from the other country songs. Which one did you like? I like the UK's entry in Mali. Um, Children of the Universe. Also, we met the other guys, um, the French guys. They're crazy, totally crazy, like us. Um, um, we have a lot of favorites. I really like Conchita's song and uh, the Armenian song. In the ah, oh, in the Netherlands entry, I love it. I love the song and the people. They are both very stylish. I love them. Oh, the guy with the hat. Yeah, he's cool. <laughs> I like, uh, yeah, I like France uh, with mustache. I liked, uh, I liked, uh, Beijing ba from, uh, Denmark. From Denmark. Copenhagen, he said he was from. <laughs> I like, um, I, I like many songs. UK, I'm from the UK, so I like UK song as well. There's a lot of songs that are good this year. This year. Yeah, yeah. Huh? <laughs> okay, what's going on with your preparations for, uh, for Eurovision? Choreography, outfits, everything. Yeah, we keep preparing every day and rehearsing the the song uh, along with the vocals and all the the stuff we're gonna do that we cannot <laughs> quite reveal just yet. It's a crazy schedule every day. We have to work out. We have to be at the rehearsals for hours. But we're so so freaking excited, <laughs> and we don't get tired at all. Yeah, I think um, uh, whenever we get tired, we. We uh, replace our our kurasi uh, with uh, <laughs> 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 with <laughs> with happiness because we we have a great chance now. Okay, uh, what's the secret of your collaboration with your choreographer? Uh, you mean uh, what? What you mean by the secret? What, what are we gonna do? No, I mean, <laughs> how do you manage to work with your choreographer? First of all, the idea of what are we going to do there it was Focas Evangelinos' idea. The choreographer that 
He's every day with us. He's Georgos Papadopoulos. And we're he's a very very, doing very well. talented guy. Yeah, and he's he, awesome. They, they're both awesome. Focus did the your vision in Greece. They're both they're awesome. both very talented at what they do. Yeah. yeah. Okay, tell us a bit more about the team that will help you, about outfits, about uh, oh. your record label, everything. Um, well, uh, the outfits will be all uh, from clothes from G-Star. Um, like well, these ones? Yeah, like <laughs> we're wearing, we're wearing right now. now. We're wearing the G-Star every day. We love him. Yeah. Hi, G-Star. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, in the team we have um, our management, Erodios, uh, our local label, Panic Records. Yes. Um, um, the, Who else? The, the team from uh, from Merit, National Television in Greece. Um, Let Tales speak. Yeah. <laughs> Who else? Choreographer. Who else? It's a big team. My mother. Okay, in scale of one to ten, how stressed are you? Mm. Can you answer first? Because I have to think about mm. it. I'm, I'm, I'm not stressed. Really, I'm not stressed about anything. I'm kind of more anxious just to get on stage. I hate waiting for shows. Like if if I have a show to do, I want to be there 10 minutes before the show. That's my preference. What about you guys? Are you stressed? I think it, it <laughs> will be like five. I'm in the middle. I'm not too stressed. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not relaxed, not because. Of, uh, no, I'm stressed about the things that we're gonna do, not about the show and the, I think when we're gonna be on stage, we're gonna be fine. The before uh, is the hard part. Yeah, I totally agree. The waiting makes you, you know, kind of anxious. Okay, what was the best message you received um, now that we are a few days before Denmark? The, be the best wish you, you received? Um, good luck. <laughs> no. Uh, one of my favorites was from Calomira. She wishes us. Uh, she wished us good luck, and she she wanted us to have fun and enjoy the whole competition because everybody told us that is a huge, a huge uh, competition, huge experience. It totally is. <laughs> you know it is. Yeah. <laughs> Another one is from an Australian guy who sent me a, I don't know, I don't know three pages later on Facebook. And, and it was breath, breathtaking what he told me. It was very, very nice. And I thanked, thanked him personally. Uh, you also Molly wishes good luck. And uh, it's very nice for the, you know, uh, to th see the other competitors wishing you good luck and um, you know it's very good vibe among us. Okay, you just met also the Ukrainian representative M uh, Mary Yaremchuk. What's your impression of her? She is uh, very talented. She has a very nice voice and she's very beautiful actually. Who's uh, oh, the next one? The Ukrainian. Oh, she's beautiful. I love her song. Very beautiful. <laughs> yeah. And her song is good too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How did you say it like that? <laughs> No, she has a great song. I uh, wish her very much luck in the competition. And we're gonna meet her right now. She's here in Greece. Great. Okay, and what's your last message to our readers just before you leave Greece? It's simple. Rise up. Yeah, join us and, and rise, rise up. up. <laughs> and also, <laughs> thank you for all the support and good times from the from the beginning. Yes, thank you very much. You're with us. Thank you guys. Good luck. Thank, thank you very you, much. Thank you so much. Rise up.